Well, folks, here I am again, heading into the office. I'm a little bit late today. Today is auction pickup day, and I have to say, I did kind of mess up on auction day, and I ended up not logging into auction until it was all the closings were about halfway over, and I missed out on some items that I really wanted to pick up. There was anywhere from cologne to some costume hats, high quality costume hats that I was really wanting to pick up. A Pong game, I don't know if I wanted that just for myself or, or not, but I missed out on that for eight bucks. That's what it sold for. And just can't let it get you down. So, I did pick up about $50 worth of items. I'll do a auction haul video later. So subscribe if you want to check that out. Also go back and check out some of the other interesting finds I found on auction. But, you know, I'm still getting a handle on this eBay thing. I've been doing it for, since last November. Well, December is when I started getting eBay. And uh, sales have been up, so sales have been down. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm just glad that I have this full-time job to keep me alive and <laughs> put roof over my head and food in my belly. My weight is up about 35 pounds over the last six months, so I'm definitely not starving myself. That's going to be a new um, trial I go through is bringing that back down, but hey, as you get older, that's kind of a struggle, I'll say. But uh, I had an interesting purchase on eBay. I don't know, you know, I opt in for global shipping. And I had a purchase from Nicaragua which they are, you know, you, they do participate in the global shipping program. But what I learned, well, let, let, first let me tell you, it was a pair of skates, and it was, I offered free shipping. Well, free shipping will get to Kentucky Distribution Center for eBay, and that's it. Any customs, anything else, the customer has to pay for. Well, this person messaged me directly and said that it wouldn't ship to their address. What, ad you know, what address should they use? And what would the invoice be? I was a little confused about this. If it was a participant of the global shipping program, that country, what was the issue? So I called up eBay and Basically what it came down to is the item that they had purchased was restricted. Now, I had it, you know, drilled down to sporting goods, rollerblade equipment, rollerblades, you know, it was pretty well drilled down as far as the category. And the only thing that showed as restricted was the category sporting goods, other. So I asked them, you know, that, that was one of the questions, why, if this is truly restricted, because the website was kind of vague as far as restricted items, why were they allowed to purchase an item that was restricted for their country by their customs department? And basically what it boiled down to is the customer can opt out of the global shipping and this gives them the opportunity to contact the buyer and try to get the buyer to go outside of the global shipping program and ship to them directly. Well, you kind of lose some of that eBay protection on your purchase, on your sale if anything happens with that. And going through customs, and I can sit in customs for quite some time 
then you have the risk of the person saying they never got their item, so then you're going to lose that eBay seller protection. So basically, you're going to be out that out that money for the item, out the sale. You'll have to refund the buyer with shipping, and you're pretty much screwed. So. The recommendation was to just, you know, I'd already opened an unpaid item case and the recommendation from eBay was to go ahead and notify the, the seller. You know, basically I told them that I only shipped to the global shipping program, that I wouldn't be able to go outside of that and then just wait for the four days before you can uh, cancel that order and then get all your fees and stuff, you know, put back on your account. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, just to kind of give you an idea, one of the things you have to consider when, you get, when you're doing a global shipping program is no hablo espanol. I, I don't even know if I said that right, but I do not speak Spanish. But don't fret, there's a way around that. Thank God for Google Translate. Of course, the buyer had contacted me speaking Spanish, and it was you basically just go to Google if you're not familiar with it. I'm sure most of you are. Uh, type in your Google search translate. It'll take you to Google Translate and just copy and paste the message right in there and Most of the time it'll detect what language it is and yet select the language translate to English and there you get your your um, You get your translation and then you can you can do the same thing you can type in your English and translate that and it'll translate it into Spanish so you can just copy and paste that right into your response on eBay and there you go interesting about Nicaragua you know they don't use you know how we have street addresses you have house number building number as well as a street city zip they don't do that there they go by direction so, if I was, you know, if, if I was going to give my address here, Nicaraguan style, it would be something similar to go to the courthouse, go six blocks south, two blocks north, or two blocks west, and three houses down, something similar to that. So... I found that pretty interesting. Anyway, that's all the time I got today. Uh, like and subscribe. I'm going to head into the office. I am going to be going to pick up my auction haul and do a video on that later on this evening. Hopefully I get it out tonight, which will probably be later than this. Hopefully I get this video uploaded today. I'm going to the office so it kind of takes away from that time using my other PC to um, put the videos together and throw them on. But anyway, thanks for joining. We'll catch you later. Peace out.